As the country moves towards television digital migration by the end of next year, the debate as to whether Uganda Broadcasting Corporation UBC should take charge rages on. This morning, the Information Minister Mary Karoro Crew, together with the UBC managers, we are summoned before the Presidential Parliamentary Affairs Committee to explain the 74 million US dollar contract with the Chinese company Huawei. The leader of opposition, Nanda Ramafabi, raised objection to the award of the contract, citing inflated figures in the budget for the digital migration equipment. The, the trend to hoodwink the country that there is no contract, and I'm aware that uh, the bidding process and the PPDA guidelines were frauded. I'm also aware that several politicians, ministers were involved in the signing of this contract. We have no contract with who are we. Uh, what we have uh, is um, an understanding which is not effective. Following this controversy, the minister Karolo Krut says the IGG has embarked on an investigation to ascertain whether the 74 million US dollar contract worth 207 billion shillings was exaggerated. The IGG for one, the Ministry of Finance, they are all investigating this loan of $74 million. UBC got equipment worth $70 billion, and it's lying idle throughout the country. So how can you convince the committee and the parliament that UBC can be given more assignments involving money like this? Why is it that it's only UBC? And we have been handling, guys, not even any TV. Even all these other TVs are all on my infrastructure. So what makes it different now and difficult for me to handle other, uh, the, the digital migration? But as this humiliation to vacate the committee went on because of their unpreparedness to answer, they were broadcasting the proceedings of the committee live. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.